Kieran were just a normal student, right? I got four years of time, of college time, for me to decide what I wanted to do for my future. Third, and this is probably what you guys will be interested in, is scholarship. If you're good enough in your sport, they pay you money, right? They pay for your tuition. They pay for your everyday living. They pay for your food. They pay for your book. Simple money. Why not? Right? And uh, it's very different than in Taiwan. In America, an athlete is very highly respected. So in Taiwan, you see an athlete, you'd be like, oh, he's an athlete. He doesn't know how to study, you know, stuff like that. Just very uh, biased or like discriminated, I'll say. But in America, it's really different. People treated you differently. People treated you with respect. They know you're an athlete. They know you're a student. They know you pay a double amount of time on your schoolwork and on your sport. So they really, really respect you as a person and as an athlete too. So if you're thinking, just thinking about being a student athlete, going to a state is a really good choice. And then uh, last but not least, it's very uh, similar to the second point. It's the chances, the proper uh, opportunity to become a professional athlete. I love tennis. I want to be. I want to be a pro. Of course, I want to be like Roger Federer. I want to be like Nova Djokovic. I want to be like I don't know David Beckham. Who, who do you want to be, right? In America, they got money. They got good environment. They got good coaches. They just got everything, right? So like, compared to Taiwan, where we were like poor, and like, <laughs> I don't wanna say like poor, but like we don't pay much attention <laughs> of athlete, right? In Taiwan, right, people don't pay much attention to how athlete grows and how, um, how much attention is supposed to be paid to an athlete for you to become a really good professional. That's why you don't see any good basketball, Taiwanese basketball player in NBA or MLB or just in tennis in general. So if I train in America, it gave me a lot more choices, uh, a, lot, a lot more chances to become a professional tennis player. That's one thing I really uh, appreciated by becoming a student athlete. Next, please. All right, so what tennis means to me, that's me, by the way. It was like 11 years ago in Tainan. I was playing a, a school-based tournament. Just want to show you how young I was. So tennis is the sport that I uh, love the most. It's been part of me since I was second grade. And uh, tennis taught me a lot including how to stay disciplined, both on and off the court, both in and out of the classroom. Because in order to be good, you gotta stay disciplined. You gotta train every day for three hours. You gotta do whatever thing you're supposed to do. And then you gotta keep it that way for three or four years straight. Not a doubt, ask Kieran, he will tell you. And he told me, tennis told me how to learn quicker because I feel like this applies to every other sport. It applies to football, it applies to basketball, it, apply, it applies to ping pong. Things happen on the court, right? Things change on the court. So in order to cope with those emergency situations, you gotta learn, right? You gotta learn what the opponent is doing to you. You gotta learn what the ball is doing to you. You gotta learn what you can do with the ball. Right, so playing tennis taught me a lot. Taught me how to learn quicker. Turn, uh, taught me how to cope with a situation that I don't want to see, that I'm not expecting to happen. And third, tennis taught me how to think critically. Right, I feel like tennis is one of the most loneliest sport uh, compared to like basketball, football, or badminton or ping pong. First of all, it's a single sport. You don't get the team, you don't get your teammate on the court helping you, cheering you up, you don't. Second, compared to ping pong or badminton, which is also a single sport, tennis, 
In tennis, coaching is not allowed. That means for three straight hours, nobody is allowed to talk to you, nobody is allowed to cheer you up. You're on the court by yourself, by yourself for three hours. So I feel like playing tennis got me through a lot because it's all by yourself. Like on the court, you gotta deal with your emotion, you gotta deal with every situation you could face. You gotta deal with uh, the insult from the other guy. It's, it's a lot. And the fourth is, tennis taught me how to be independent. Uh, I don't know how to describe this, but I travel alone for a couple years just to play different tennis tournaments all around the world, sometimes in America, sometimes in Singapore, sometimes in uh, Brunei. So tennis has taught me how to be independent, both on and off the court. And yeah, this is what I have for the day. I hope you guys enjoy. And being a student athlete is really, truly different. I really appreciate my choice. And I hope for just three people, if you guys want to be a student athlete, go do it. It's really, it's, you, you, you won't regret it. Okay. Uh, this is a question that I would like to ask Paul. Uh, so, Paul, could you share with us what inspires you? Uh, in what way? Like, want to be a student athlete? Yeah. Or how, how do you stay motivated? Okay. So. I guess the answer to that question is, I want to be something else. I want to be not just a student, but a very unique and useful person in this world. I want to chase my dream. I want to be the person that I wanted to be. So every time I felt like giving up, I would tell myself that. I said, like, bro, you're chasing your dream. You're doing something different. So that's really what inspires me for being a student athlete because it's like really hard. And yeah, it's really stressful and really hard. So I guess that's the answer to that question. All right, any question? Morris. <laughs> a single single box zero dollars everywhere we travel we got buses we got plan we got private plan by the way oh. <laughs> we're really we're a, huh? yeah it depends on the college but if you play if you go to a rich and then a very notable school they usually pay for your they usually pay for everything yeah what's up Traveling with your teammate by showing your uh, sport, your your athlete, things that you treat you different. Like whenever you tell that you're for for my example, my own example, I uh, the first day of school I went in and then we got like all the freshmen in a huge dining hall, right? And then I sit down with a couple of white guys, a couple of black guys, a couple of Asian. Right? And then instantly I sit down, they ask me, like, what do you do? Like, why are you here? Right? Not not in an offensive way, but like, why are you here? Right? And I said, I study psychology and education. Right? And then instantly a guy sit right next to me, tell the guys, 
that he's a football player. He's an Asian, by the way. I don't know how an Asian becomes a football player, but he's a football player. American football, American football. The one thing it's always an honor. Right, right. Don't, don't, don't get me wrong, okay? I'm not trying to be like racist or like stuff like that. But. And then just instantly, instantly, the guys and the girls on the table, instantly their attention turned in for him. Like just somehow asking like different sorts of questions, and then they were like, oh dude, you know, I pay so much respect to the, to the athlete because you know, they've been working hard and you know, stuff like that, stuff they say, right? Just instantly, they treat you differently. So I guess that answers your question. And just go to America and then just try it out yourself. Just try it out yourself. Just go to whatever school you can go to and just, just see, just see. All right, any other question?
like when going to university, staying like um at high school currently, like every session of life we have goals we want to achieve. And what are your goals? These are questions like you can ask yourself. Like it's not only for me, but it applies to every single one of you right now over here. You're in the period of like high school. It's actually the most like enjoyable time of school, actually, I would say. But like moving on, are you just gonna be playing for the rest of your life? Maybe you do have the money to do that. But like, would you really be happy with that? Right, these are questions to ask yourself. Okay, so now I wanna share about um, like a day in the life for me. So normally I wake up at roughly um, eight or nine in the morning, so I have to go back to school first. For me, I have to go back to school because like I'm still a student. So at 10, I have my classes starting. After that, I just like basically we do chiropractic studies which includes biology, somewhat of physics, a little bit of math, and bone related studies. So that's what we do every day from Monday to Friday. Yes. So after three o'clock, I have to go back to my training camp. So for football players, we do have a training camp. For my team, we do have a training camp. So I have to go back there at 3.30 to check in. So first, we start with body check. Why do we need body check? Because as athletes, when in on season time, that means when you're playing, no alcohol, no vapes, no shisha, no drugs. Okay? I know some of you are looking at each other because you guys know you're taking it. So it doesn't matter though, it doesn't matter. But I think you guys should be clear of what is the best for you guys, right? So we have to check to make sure that these elements, we don't hit it down. Because if you get checked that you take alcohol or anything, you get fined. Because we get paid. As student athletes, we get paid. We get paid, I do that for a living, right? So we get fined as well, that's punishment. So, as Paul has mentioned just now, discipline is very important. Because even in school right now, if you don't have discipline, all right, management is not going to work. That's the same for a team structure. As a school, like a mini society, you guys are like a team, you know, you guys are working together. Every day you go to different classes, you guys are working in different teams. That is how you should see the situation yourself actually. So it's the same for me, right, discipline. So second thing we go, we have team meetings. Team meetings are roughly half an hour to one hour. So we basically focus on our agendas of the training that day. So like for example, today we're focusing on passing. Let's do the simple one. We're focusing on passing. What do we have to be aware of, okay? What are some things that have to be improved compared to the last training? What are some things you guys did well and that you guys want to keep doing? So we have goals, we have standards. Every time, everything you do, find a purpose to do it. Why do you have to do it? What does it help you? Moving on to the future, what does it benefit you from? Right. So after team trainings, like after team talks, we move on to fitness. So every training, before we start, we run 10 kilometers. Do you guys have any idea of how long 10 kilometers is? Yes, so we have to run 10 kilometers to keep up with the stamina and fitness. It may sound easy right now, but when you guys are actually doing it, I bet half of you can't make it to five kilometers. So, it requires dedication, right? I'm not saying that you guys can't make it, but it depends on whether you guys are willing to put in the effort. Same for your studies right now. If you guys aren't willing to put in the effort, you get the grades you deserve. Same for us. If we can't meet the standards, we get punished. Okay, we get punished, it's the same. Like, maybe you guys won't get punished, but like society over there is different. In the UK, it's different, right? So when you move overseas, you realize that there are different sorts of boundaries, limits, restrictions for every single person. Something you may be allowed to do in Taiwan, maybe not in the States or UK, Australia, wherever you wanna go, right? So these are things you have to be aware of. Sometimes we cannot think that um, whatever, um, like what we want to do, could just do, right? It requires a lot of sequences, steps, process that all follows up. Okay, so after fitness, we go to ice bath. Does anybody have 
Any idea of what ice bath is? It's very fun. <laughs> it's actually not that fun. <laughs> but so ice bath is we have to soak into the water like full of ice. But do you guys know why we have to do that? Does anybody, Lin, do you know why we have to do that? Cool down your body. Exactly. We have to cool down our body. Because after running 10 kilometers, it takes up a lot of burden. After that, ice bath. It's not a good process, but that's what we have to do. So I have to train six hours a day. Paul has to do three. I have to do six hours a day because that's what I do for a living. Right. Six hours a day, five days a week. And this cycle keeps going. So we do have like short breaks, two to three weeks breaks in between. But at that time, you guys have to focus every single day. Like you have to be prepared for the other day. You have to be clear of what you want to do actually, right? So after that, we go to focus on our agendas. So normally, we have technical practice and tactical practice. So technical practices are focusing on like, for example, your footwork. So like if you're a football player, you know, passing, shooting, dribbling, controlling the ball. There's a lot of aspects. So we have to be prepared for that every single session because we don't know what is coming. We do have team meetings, but they don't tell you exactly what we're training on that day. So your body, your mindset, it has always has to be prepared. Same like when you guys are taking exams in school. You guys, your mind always has to be prepared for that. So after technical practices, we have tactical practices. So what are tactical practices? So some of you guys um, may know if you're playing basketball or like um, sports like football, right? So you require a teamwork. It requires working as a team. But when you ask me, why is it different from tennis? I think Paul mentioned it just now, right? Because tennis is individual. For us, we require teamwork. That is the biggest difference. And teamwork doesn't only apply to you, but it applies to everybody that's surrounding you. So like, if your teammates work hard, but you guys don't, then you're affecting the team, right? So this requires your teamwork, your discipline, and your critical attention. Because if you lack the mentality at that current moment, you drop off, you're not only affecting yourself. You have to know, when you fall, your teammates fall as well. You're affecting the team as well. Okay, so after that, when we finish tactical practice, we gotta go to the gym, 45 minutes to an hour, Maybe we do some light weight and cardios, basically. Because as a football player, balancing is really important. So our lower quads, we have to be very solid with that. Maybe like um, you don't have to be as strong or as big like a tennis player, which requires all individual running, but it requires you using your brain. Because as football players, you're not playing the ball only with but with your head as well. Because when you have to know that, not only for football, but like all the sports you guys play, how you process the moment you have the ball, and how you think yourself, like it's what you have to think at that current moment, what am I going to do with the ball, right? For example, if I have the ball with me, I have plenty of positions. I can dribble, I can pass, I can shoot, right? But what gives me the best option results that's coming up? Same for your studies. Like, if you ask me, um, like, what is the best way of studying? Everybody is different, right? Like, there is no particular way of saying that um, you have to study like that to get a good grade. Someone might think that they have to study like by reading. Some has to be writing. Some has to be listening. Right? So it's different, even for us athletes it's different we have to process ourselves but like you guys are in the stage of like you're still like growing up like some of you guys may be going to um, university some of you not yet so like this I would say is a good time when you're in high school for you to really think about what is like the best way for you in the future like not only your studies but what are your plans in the future as well 
So, I want to share one thing. Is like um, when I got to UK, I thought I would have a lot of time. Actually, I thought I would have like plenty of time to do different things. But in reality, no, it's not. After you go to school, and then you go to uh, trainings, back home it'd probably be like 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. Your best friend that time is your bed. So I only go to bed. That's the only thing I do. So that's a cycle every day. So I enjoy it myself, but like it's different for, for you guys. Maybe you guys enjoy different things. So aspects are different, but there are no clash to that, right? It's more important, you guys know what you guys really like and just go in and try to do it and try to achieve it. So for me, football is what I like. That's why I put in the effort, I put in the dedication to it. If like, for example, basketball is what you like, then as Paul said, you should really try to go for it. Because if that is your dream, you should protect it yourself, right? It's not other people to protect it from you guys. You guys should really do to try to like achieve it yourself. And I believe if you guys work hard, you guys can definitely make it, all right? So for me, I'm not as good as Paul. I don't have scholarships, but I do pay my own school fees. So um, you guys might ask, um, what do I pay with? So for a professional athlete, you get paid for it. You get paid as a professional athlete. It's different from scholarships. They might have a lot of things included. For us, we get paid as athletes, but we also have to pay for our studies. Because there are two different aspects, right? One is doctor, like you're studying a doctor. One is being a professional. So I have to support my own living. Like, my parents are willing to help me. Yes, they are. But like, um, when I reach this level, I would really want to try to survive myself. So, like, I would want to try to make a living for myself. So, as an athlete, there are pressures as well. Like, it's not only the pressures on the field, but off the field. Why? Because there are people you have to face every day. There are things you have to frustrate about every day as well. So such as how you balance your studies and as a football player, how do you get them equal? What's your take? What's your balance in the middle? Right? And financials, maybe I do earn money, but in UK, as you know, I have to pay taxes. So I have to pay for my house. Food, maybe not, but like, Overall, as a living bills, I have to pay them as well. So these are pressures. But everybody in the like world, they have pressures, right? How are you going to take it? Are you just going to stay depressed and stay home? That's not a way of solving the problem, right? Sometimes, we all have different perspectives to things. But how you perceive it and deal with it is really what you guys should really think. It's not really up to me. I can't think in your perspective, right? But you guys could. You guys could really think in your own perspective, right? So, um, questions? Yes. Okay, so um, there are a couple questions for me. So, um, when asked what are the differences between high school and college, if you ask me, I would say uh, high school is much more of a free life because there are a lot of things you can do. You're still in a surrounding that you're protected by your parents, right? Now, so a lot of you guys are still in your comfort zone, actually. But college, you should have to take the courage to step out of your comfort zone and try to achieve what you can or what you want. That, I would say, is the biggest difference of college and high school, yes. So, second thing is, what is the most difficult thing about playing in a professional league, okay? So, if, I have to answer this question, like, there are a lot of difficult things about, first, cultural differences, right? This actually affects a lot. Maybe you guys think, yeah, but different race people, they just play together. But cultural differences also affect your chemistry in the team. It affects your bonding. That's what makes it difficult. Second, like I want to talk about why is it difficult? Because every minute, every second, 
mindset, mentality has always has to be there. One second you lose focus, opponent gets the ball, you lose the ball, they score. In a match, I'm talking about. If you're talking about just playing outside over there, if I concede one goal, I can score three. If I concede five, I can score ten. In a professional league, you cannot. You know if you make one mistake, just one mistake, and if you concede one goal, you might cause the team to lose. As football players, you guys should know that as well. One mistake, and you're gonna lose, affect your team to lose. So that's why. Always being prepared is very important. So what life lessons have you learned from football? Well, somewhat a little bit similar to Paul, life lessons re requires independence because you have to, like, let's not talk about me as a professional right now. Let's talk about when I was younger, when I was playing in Hong Kong, okay? Like, Hong Kong's my home country, if some of you didn't know. So, when I was playing in Hong Kong, that time I still have to go to school, right? So, like, probably middle school. But trainings are also long. It's for three hours at that time. But you still have to go to school. So, by the time you go home, you're 10, 11, 12. You're tired, okay? You want to go to sleep. But you still have homework. So how are you going to arrange these stuff yourself? How are you going to manage it yourself? For football, that's more about being independent. So the um, second thing about life lessons is that um, you have to be willing to put in the effort to it. People might think that playing football, maybe play, playing good in football is easy. But what is hard is that how you can play with others. Not only with people you're familiar with, but with people you're not familiar with. Same for you guys when you come up to the society to work. You don't always work with people you want to, or you like. That's the same for football. You might work with people you don't like, but in that situation, what do you do? Do you just sit there and not do anything? No, you have to really go find a solution, right? Find a solution to the problem. What can help the situation at that time? What can I do with this person? Okay, so lastly, what is the most important thing in my life now? Uh, most important thing, I would say, um, my priority right now is uh, professional football, um, like you guys know, because I have to go to football more than I go to school right now. Probably I have to go to school like four to five hours, but I don't have classes every day. But for football, I have to go every day, like five days a week, like six hours. So for now, my priority is football. Like, sometimes it's important to get your priorities correct as well. Like, maybe nobody says you must be a university student to succeed, right? You can start up your own business. Or you can, even if you guys make it, you guys can be professional athletes. Or maybe not athletes, musicians as well, right? Maybe someone wants to be authors, right? I think at this stage of life, you guys have to start to think, what are your priorities? Like. Do you guys want to focus on like just your studies right now? Or is there something you guys want to do? Well, you guys are all young. Like, this is really the good time for you guys to really try, to try to do things you guys really like or what you guys really want. Because when you grow up, there's a lot of things that restrict restricts you. And there are a lot of boundaries. When you want to do it at that time, it's not going to be that easy anymore. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, I hope you uh, have learned as much as I did. So it's very, uh, very inspiring for me. 